हेलो स्टूडेंट इन आर प्रीवियस लेसन वी वेर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट फ्रिक्शन बट एट द एंड वी वेर लेफ्ट विद सम इंटरव्यूइंग क्वेश्चन राइट सच एज वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग फ्रिक्शन इस इज इट्स साइज शेप और सर्फस हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू आंसर ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आंसर वन बाय वन बाय डूइंग अ वेरी स्मॉल एक्सपेरिमेंट as you can see there are three surface one is smooth the second one is rough and the third one is a very rough surface what i'm going to do is i'm going to place a box and observe how much distance this box will be traveling in these surfaces so let's place the box on the first surface that is the smooth surface yeah that box had covered some distance let's mark that point as Point A. Now let's keep the same box in the second surface, that is a rough surface. Here also the box had covered some distance. Now let's mark this point as point B. So now let's keep the same box in the third surface, that is a very rough surface. Here the box had covered very small distance. Now let's mark that point as point C. So students, if you observe, you can see that in the surface, that is in the smooth surface, the box had covered the maximum distance, and in the very rough surface, the box had covered the minimum distance. Which means, in the smooth surface, the friction was very less, and in the rough surface, the friction was very high. Because of that, the box had covered the larger or the maximum distance in the smooth surface and the minimum distance in the rough surface. That is, in the very rough surface. So, by this we can conclude that nature of surface is one factor which affects friction. So, now we know the factor which affects friction. That is, nature of surface. is one factor right but my question is is it the only factor which affects friction no mass is also a factor which affects friction for example you just imagine which will be easier for you to uh, roll it over a surface a 50 kg sack or a 10 kg sack you will find easy to roll the 10 kg sack over a surface right that means what is happening over there is when the mass is getting increased the irregularities between the surfaces in our example the 50 kg sack was the uh, heavier one so the irregularities of that sack will be getting interlocked with the irregularities of the surface it will be getting interlocked in a very good manner so that the friction will be more on a 50 kg sack when we are comparing it with a 10 kg sack so nature of the surface and mass are the two factors which affects friction so students here in this video we have learned about the factors which is affecting friction the first one is the nature of the surface and the second one is the mass of the object 